A massive severe weather event is coming to the United States over the next 48 hours and this is going to be a very significant severe weather event where we are going to see the potential for several tornadoes which a few of those could be strong in addition to some significant damaging winds which could be a widespread threat across areas in the lower Mississippi Valley as we go into tomorrow but this is going to be a multi-day severe weather event that began yesterday and it's going to run all the way through Thursday and maybe even into Friday which will include areas from the southern plains like Texas all the way through the lower Mississippi Valley, the southeast, and as well as the Ohio Valley and the east coast. Well, I'll be giving you the latest breakdown on everything that you need to know about this storm in this weather forecast. And let's hop right into what this storm is going to be doing here over the next few days. And we're going to go ahead and give you a broad overview of what this storm is going to be doing. So beginning with today, we are going to have some showers and storms across the southern plains throughout the day today. It's going to be a very active day. And the reason why is because we're going to have a strong southerly wind wind pulling tons of moisture out of the Gulf of Mexico, which is going to lead to numerous rounds of showers and storms across Texas. But once we go into tonight, that is when the significant tornado threat begins in areas like Southeast Texas. And we will have plenty of showers and thunderstorms across areas in Texas tonight into tomorrow morning. Once we go into Wednesday, that is when the most significant severe weather day is going to occur, where there is right now a threat for some very significant damaging winds. Upwards of 60 to 90 miles per hour is going to be possible and this is all due to the fact we are likely going to see either a squall line we might even see a small scale derecho happen back down in the lower Mississippi Valley and this could lead to some very significant damaging winds a little bit of large hail but that's really not the main concern in addition to the chance for a few tornadoes or even several tornadoes it's really going to depend a lot on the environment as we go into Wednesday and I think we're going to have a lot more information about that tornado threat tonight I do plan on going live for a little forecast live stream tonight answering all your questions so make sure that you are subscribed to the channel. Once we go into late Wednesday night to Thursday, this continues to move to the east. It's going to impact areas in the southeast like Florida, Georgia, and South Carolina, and we'll be watching for another severe weather threat on Thursday in the southeast in addition to the Ohio Valley. We're going to have two different areas to watch for for some severe weather. I do think the main concern on Thursday will be some damaging winds and a low tornado risk in the southeast and another small tornado risk back up in the Ohio Valley, and we'll be talking more about that in our live stream tonight. With all that being said, let's go right into the severe weather potential for the next 48 hours and we will begin with today which is tossing trampolines on tacos tuesday and we are going to see some tossing trampolines today maybe more tonight more than today because overall the main concern is across east and southeast texas we do have an enhanced risk of severe weather which also includes waco it's near san antonio includes areas like austin texas make sure that you have multiple ways to receive alerts if you're in the enhanced area there is a slight risk that goes back into western mississippi and back into west texas the main concern overall today will be damaging winds and large hail. The damaging wind risk will be mainly focused across areas in southeast Texas, so make sure that you're hatching down your trampolines, as there is a medium risk for flying trampolines for today. The large hail threat, though, is really the greatest concern for today and tonight, so make sure you're protecting your vehicle tonight, protect any outdoor plants. I cannot urge that enough, because there will be a chance for some large to very large hail. We had a bunch of hailstorms in North Texas yesterday on our live stream. It's very possible we have more of that today across areas like Texas. Now, the tornado risk is hatched, and that means that there is a chance for strong tornadoes. It is still a low chance, but there will be an isolated strong tornado or two in that yellow hatched area. With that being said, I do think this threat will primarily be after midnight tonight, which is really the worst timing possible, meaning that any tornado threat that we have today, there will be mainly tonight in areas like East Texas and Western Louisiana, and that will be mainly overnight tonight once that cluster of storms develops. Helps. But with that being said, I would not rule out an isolated tornado or two during the daylight hours today. But this is why I'm telling you, make sure that you have multiple ways to receive alerts and have a tornado action plan set in stone for tonight in case there are any tornadoes after midnight tonight, which is definitely possible. Now, the worst day of severe weather, and I've been saying this for really, I think, two or three days now, the worst day of severe weather is going to be Wednesday. And that's really because we already have a moderate risk one that just got issued by the Storm Prediction Center. In addition to that, this is where we're going to be watching for the threat of either Either a squall line or potentially some sort of derecho that could happen that will bring some significant damaging winds to areas in the lower Mississippi Valley with all modes of severe weather being possible with the main concern being the significant damaging wind threat notice this pink area that represents a 45% chance within a 25 mile radius of damaging winds that means there are going to be trees knocked down probably within about 25 to 50 miles of you there might be a trampoline in a tree that's basically what we're talking about with tomorrow's severe weather threat with that threat 
in play, we're going to have also the chance for damaging winds as high as 80 to 90 miles per hour out of a couple of isolated storms. And again, I'm not trying to be super dramatic here. I'm just trying to tell you this is what's going to happen, right? Because this is going to be one of the larger severe weather days that we've had so far this year. And keep in mind, this is a four out of five on the severe weather scale. That red area is a moderate risk of severe weather. So if you're new to the severe weather scale, this is one of the highest risks that you can get on the entire scale. The only thing higher would be a high risk of severe weather, which I don't think will happen in this setup unless there is a super high amount of confidence in there being a high risk of probably damaging winds in this case. The tornado threat for tomorrow, it is a higher tornado threat than usual. I would consider this in the medium to high category for a tornado risk with that red shaded area representing a 15% chance within a 25 mile radius of a tornado. In addition to that, there's a hatched area, meaning that there will be a chance for a couple or even a few strong tornadoes in the lower Mississippi Valley. So make sure that you have multiple ways to receive alerts on have a tornado action plan in place for Wednesday because Wednesday again is going to be our greatest threat of severe weather. In addition to that, there will be a chance for some large hail, but it's really not that notable of a threat at this point. The damaging wind threat is likely going to be widespread. In addition to that, the tornado threat, we very easily could see an EF2 or EF3 type tornado happen. And the reason why is one, we have a very strong low level jet. We have very favorable veering profiles in the atmosphere, basically meaning there's going to be a lot of spin in the atmosphere. With that being said, we can combine those two things and put it into the significant tornado parameter, which gives you an idea of where the greatest tornado risk will be. And overall today, it's primarily going to be across areas in Southeast Texas and Louisiana as we go into late tonight into the overnight hours where there will be a chance for a few uh, tornadoes, potentially a strong tornado or two. Once we go into Wednesday morning, this activity moves to the east and notice how those tornado parameter values really get higher. We're talking threes, fours, and fives, which the highest a tornado parameter value can go is 10. So in terms of this threat, it's definitely on the higher side of things when we talk about tornado parameter values. It's very rare that we ever get something near 10 and we'll have plenty of that opportunity at least going closer to five to six values across areas like eastern Louisiana and western Mississippi throughout much of the afternoon as well as into the early evening hours. I do think at least for Wednesday, this should not be super nocturnal. I think a lot of this will be during the daylight hours aside from what we're going to see tonight and tomorrow morning. I think overall a lot of this will be during the daylight, which is good news. Obviously, we do not need more nocturnal tornadoes. Those are very dangerous, especially since a lot of people are sleeping. So here's the timing for today. Severe weather will be possible in southeast Texas. Not really out an isolated tornado this morning. Damaging winds, large hail. This afternoon, another isolated storm or two will develop. Maybe a low tornado risk. By this evening, storms will continue across much of Texas and as well as Louisiana. Once we go into Wednesday morning, again, notice what we're going to be looking at. This is 3 a.m. by the way, tonight. So going into tonight to tomorrow morning, huge swath of storms producing significant damaging winds. Notice how this thing bows out on the HRR model. That's indicating a Boeing segment likely going to lead to some significant to widespread damaging winds. Once we get closer to tomorrow morning, those storms continue to push to the east. And by the afternoon hours, those storms will move into areas like Mississippi and Alabama. And overall, the tornado threat should be much lower after sunset tomorrow. I do think the main concern will be during the daylight hours overall. If you're back over in the southeast, storms will be doing the same thing. Notice this. This is the furthest the future radar goes out. But again, severe weather possible in that Boeing segment all the way through around six or seven o'clock in the evening. Damaging winds and an isolated tornado risk will carry over as we go into the late evening hours on Wednesday. And then eventually as we go into Thursday, there will be another round of severe weather in the Southeast and the Ohio Valley. Here's a quick little preview of the Ohio Valley. We'll be talking about more on this in our live stream forecast, most likely later today. If we don't have that, I will hopefully talk about it tomorrow. Uh, overall, there will be a chance for a isolated tornado or two across areas in Ohio, back into Northern Kentucky and even maybe West Virginia, right around this low pressure system, which means that there will definitely be some spin in the atmosphere. Make sure that you're subscribed to the channel. We'll be keeping you posted with the latest as this event all evolves.